this is it. This is our last module for 3A2, Chapter 2, ASME Code Calculations. Um, so one thing that we have to do uh, is a little section on safety relief valve capacity calculations. And uh, let me guide you through that. So we have a little section uh, on ASME uh, code in Section 1 um, relating to safety relief valves. So in your package, what you have is page number 9, um, and that has now PG67. So uh, recall we were in the 20s before and in doing our pressure part calculations. Um, so we've skipped ahead a few pages, but uh, not too many, but we're at 67. And this talks about your safety relief valve. Now there's a couple of points there. Um, one, the first paragraph outlines what is the minimum uh, number of safety relief valves. And there's a transition point, uh, usually at 500 square feet of heating surface, between when you need one safety relief valve and a second. Okay, so you have, a, you have a transition point, and there's also some restrictions on the type of boiler in that paragraph. So for instance, depending on what type of tubes you have or the configuration of the boiler, uh, it's going to dictate the number of safety relief valves. Um, we also have another clause there, and it describes what is the maximum pressure that can be raised in the boiler when the safety relief valves are going off. And so it says that the valves, if they're discharging at their maximum capacity, can only allow the boiler to raise its pressure by an additional 6% above its MAWP. So we have a limit to what the valve can do under its full output. Okay. In this section, typically you might get a calculation-based question that looks something like this. And what we'll see is that neither of those two clauses are really going to be that helpful to us. So we have a sample question. Determine the minimum safety relief valve capacity for a water wall heating surface in a hand-fired water tube application. Okay. Safety relief valve must relieve pressure generated by 13.17 square meters of heating surface. Answer in kilograms of steam per hour. So pretty much none of that was in any of the other paragraphs. And so this can be a challenging question because it doesn't really fall inside of that paragraph 67 section that outlines safety relief valves in section 1. Uh, here's where you go to find it. So you have what's known as the non-mandatory Appendix A. Uh, and this is a section that, just to note, is halfway or more through the code section. So uh, if you look at your handout, we were like around page 40 or 50 or something like that. Now we're like 160. So it's quite a bit further in the code document is where you find this Appendix A. And these are non-mandatory calculations. Um, however, uh, they do provide some good uh, background to making these calculations. Right? Um, and so in non-mandatory Appendix A, we have this table A44. So section A44, and it outlines the estimated steaming capacity for a boiler. So our boiler needs to be able to or our safety relief valve needs to be able to relieve the maximum steaming capacity. And so this table gives you a way to estimate how much steam can a boiler produce under certain conditions with certain amount of surface area absorbing heat. And so we have two different sections to this. We have the upper section, which is in US units, and we have our bottom section, which is in our metric units. And that's the section that we're going to focus on. Okay, so here we have our question, um, back to that, that question that I provided. We have a water wall heating surface, and we need to know the relief valve capacity. Um, and so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this chart, and all we have to do is really just match up the sections of our chart to find our value out of our table. So 
first of all, um, we're going to look at it and we're going to say that this is a um, water tube application. Okay, and I have a water tube application. So I'm going to use the right hand side of that table. Um, I also have a water wall uh, application. So there's my water wall. So I'm going to use the bottom block. And uh, in this case, uh, this guy is a hand fired boiler. Okay, and I have a hand fired section. So the net result is that I would have a value there out of the table of 39. And the units of that are right up here. So 39 kilograms of steam per hour per square meter of surface area. So if I wanted to find the steam capacity, it's going to be equal to my 39 kilograms per hour per meter squared times the area, and in this case, 13.17 meters squared. Meters squared are going to cancel themselves out, and what I'm left with is 39 times 13.17, and the steaming capacity oops, is going to be equal to 513.63, and the units I'm left with, kilograms per hour. Okay. So if the boiler can produce that much steam, it also must be able to relieve that much steam in order for that safety relief valve to function properly.